Hey everyone, I just finished my first makeup tutorial. Um, hopefully everyone likes it. Um, Okay, today I'm starting off this video with my eyebrows already done. Um, pretty much all I have to do is blend it out. I haven't, um, I didn't do my brows on camera because I plan on doing a eyebrow tutorial, a separate eyebrow tutorial. So, basically, and excuse me if I'm going to be looking down because I have my remote, my, well, my phone connected as a remote to my camera. So, this is how I'm going to be able to see myself without having a flip up screen and also I have my phone here with a mirror screen protector that's what I'm pretty much going to be doing my makeup in so now I'm going to take um, this is just a real techniques brush I believe um, I've had it for a couple years now and I use this to basically clean up the concealer and make sure it's all blended out Hope I'm not seeing like I'm rushed here. I, um, it's my first time doing my makeup on camera, so bear with me. take me long to do my makeup but today I'm gonna um I'm gonna attempt to contour highlight for you all we'll see how it goes I don't too much do that on an everyday basis my hair done this weekend thank god which is why I had a scarf on when I do a completed look I'm gonna have like a little turban scarf on so yeah because the struggle is real not spend money like that so I'm keeping my sewings up at least two months like at first I, I was getting a hairstyle every month at one point I'm just like no that's not that's not what's up because who got money to do that I know I don't I'm not out here balling on hair styles because at the end of the day after you buy your hair you still have to pay someone to do it so it's that's too much so, two months or whatever. But if I'm getting like, if I'm not getting a sew in, I'll do like a month, four weeks or whatever. But we have that all blended out. Next, I'm going to take my favorite palette, which is the Nubian by Juvia's. I actually have two new palettes here by them. I have the Saharan, and I also have, did you all see that? Because I got to hold it up higher, the Saharan. And I have Nubian 2 by Juvia's. So, all three of these, I'm going to try to pull a little bit from them. But mostly this one because this is like my holy grail. And um, these are not drugstore products. Most of the products I use are drugstore. Like I get this from the beauty supply store. But um, this is supposed to be an everyday makeup back to school looks so i'm trying to use products that are affordable Juvia's place is pretty affordable and they always have a promo code um you have to buy this online and i will link the website below in the description box but these are just like my favorite eyeshadows for lemon of color no but as you can see this is how much i love this palette <laughs> i've hit pan on all of these i have completely used everything in a pan on a lot of these this right here, this color used to be like my favorite transition color and as you can see it's gone. 
now I have since moved on to this one, which they're not the same. This was more of a where am I? This is more of a neutral tone, but this is this works. So this is what I'm gonna use like right underneath my brow bone. I'm take this brush here. This is a Win Well brush. Um, I've been painting my makeup and stuff, so that's why it's not squeaky clean, but. I'm taking this color right here and what I do I just pat that do is I just pat in there on both sides of the brush just do a little pat I don't rub it or swish it around even though they have a really good um, makeup consistency with as far as their shadows because I don't really receive fallout underneath here underneath my eye I'm gonna just ever so lightly and I didn't prime my eyes I maybe should have but oh well see it's not it's not right there in my brow bone but it's like ever so slightly under and the reason why I don't use like a brighter concealer is because I'm gonna come back in I'm gonna highlight right there under the eye As you can see, I'm I'm building this color up, but I'm actually doing it different because normally I do a little here and there, go back and forth. But today, you all will get what you get. <laughs> uh, this is basically the color that I'm trying to get with my little orange color here. This is the brow pencil I use also. I use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I use the color Brunette which is like a deep brown color. I don't never use black on your eyebrows or you're going to be walking around looking like you got Sharpies above your eye. I hate when I touch my brow. I'm going to have to fit, touch that up a little bit. But if you mess up your brow, bump it or anything, you can come back after the fact and finish that. There's so many techniques to doing makeup. I am not at all an expert. I'm a beginner. So this is very beginner friendly because I, this is not in my, my comfort zone, I, I shall say. Like, I, I don't think I'm the best makeup person. I don't think. I can do makeup on anyone else. A lot of people always ask me like, do you do makeup? Like I come in, I go in stores all the time. I'm like, who did your makeup? I'm like, I did it. I'm like, oh, do you do other people makeup? And I mean, I'm thinking to myself, I'm kind of turning down business a lot. Maybe I should go into it, but I doubt it. That's, I have a thing about being near people's skin. Maybe weird. It's very normal to me, but I, I can't. I can't be touching your face. I, just me. Hey. What am I looking for, dog? I'm trying to find my brushes. Just these brushes here. And I'm going to take. Um, I think I want to get a little more subtle. I'm going to take this color here. It's like a orangey rose goldy color and I'm gonna put that directly underneath that orange 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 peachy color and I'm just tapping the brush in the eyeshadow and I'm going right here so I'm kind of like building up that color a little bit this is above my crease like literally right above it not on my crease now I'm just gonna swipe this back and forth. Give me video, send me like some topics to talk about. It could be like current event topics, it could be celebrity news, it could be TV shows. Um, I watch TV often, not as much as I used to, but I, I have my shows that I like to watch. And um, what I was thinking about doing 
it's a segment also on yeah so basically what I want you all to do is give me topics if you want to talk about um, I know a lot of people I saw a lot of people when the Rob and China situation happened I saw a lot of people touch on it when they were doing their makeup so yeah stuff like that I'm not going to talk about nothing too controversial because this is still going to be family friendly channel uh -huh. right here with this brush here it's like a foot it's not flat but it's I don't I'm not even gonna lie act like I know um what these brushes are called so yeah I'm just gonna tap in it tap 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 clap 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 your hands okay and well I'm gonna just put that underneath this is gonna be um I don't I'm not really applying these colors heavily because this is supposed to be you know everyday ow it's a Pokemon everyday look so I'm keeping it kind of lightweight you know what I'm saying know what I mean know what I'm saying so yeah like when I take my picture with my flash and stuff the only thing I don't like with this camera is and I don't know if this is a, a, a every camera type of thing or if it's just my camera because it's not that expensive but um, it won't record with flash so I don't know if um, I'm not sure if cameras when they record on movie setting if they record with flash but I know this one doesn't now I'm going to take this brush just look at it. Don't ask me what kind of brush, what it is. Now I'm gonna take this gold, it's like a gold color. I'm gonna tap around in that. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> foundation today I'm doing drugstore foundations I have 315 and 322 here for you and these are in the matte and poreless this is um normal to oily skin which is what I have as you can see but I just mix them just because I feel like it gives me the best overall look so we're gonna close this eyeshadow palette up I take the lighter color first and I add like a little bit of that on my hand like literally that's how much I add right there the darker color which I like to use a little less darker color so I'm not coming off too brownie too orangey and that's how I do that you can see both colors yes um, I'm gonna push this up a little bit so my forehead can show all the way. What I do is I tap right here on my hand. I, I mix it already. I already mixed it up. I tap with the beauty blender. Then I swipe down my forehead like this. You probably can see it. Swipe down. And if this doesn't look like my color, trust me, it is. Um, one thing about Maybelline, it oxidizes. So it soaks into your skin. So if the color looks a little too light. Now if, it, if I look pale, if this looks like it was real pale, then you got the wrong color but if it looks a little lighter it's going to blend all the way in and plus I'm going to highlight and stuff so then I go underneath here this is just me getting the foundation on my face like a base I'm going to come back in and blend it all out here 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 got my nose you blend it down to your neck. I don't know if you can see my neck all the way, but um, yeah, because you don't want to be out here looking too tall. That's what you don't want. And then after I do all of that, I ever start, I start blending in in my skin. I kind of dab, like I dab, dab. I kind of dab it in. You know.
Making sure. Look at that. You see my hair just don't fail. It don't want to let me be great. I got foundation on my hand and stuff. Like, why? Huh? Why you don't want me to be great right now? That probably is not going to stay. I knew it was going to do that once I started. Really beating. I guess beating my face. I knew it was going to fall. Because you don't never want to do right. But. And I pretty much got it blended out when you come in. And. Also, I use this little brush here because you know, I like she ain't gonna use other brushes. I use those too because right here where my brow begins, I like to do that. So if it's any sh concealer or anything that looks harsh, I want to make sure it just looks really clean right there. I even do it above my brow a little bit just to make sure my concealer and everything is covered for my foundation. And that's how they look. It has like a little purple in here. Like an ombre of purple. But these are um the box says Moda brushes on it. I'm not sure where I bought these. I'm not sure if I got them in Walmart. I know if I got them in Walmart, it wasn't in Walmart near near me. It was on the Michigan. Or I got it from like a Sally not Sally's. A Marshall's or a TJ Maxx. So this is how they look. And the cool thing about these is they have what they are used for on the end. So if you're a beginner, it has right here, it has powder. And this one has foundation. I'm going to use the foundation brush here. The concealer that I'm using today. I really don't use this at all. But I figured it would be okay to use today. This is um, in 40 medium. And it's master seal, master conceal. It says new on it. I'm sure it's not new, but it's by Maybelline. But I'm going to go. And right here, under my eye, and we're going to conceal right there. I think this concealer is a little too thick to do this with, but we gonna see nonetheless we're gonna blend the mess out of this so yeah on my nose a little bit here i don't really need to do my forehead like that but we're gonna do a little bit there and a little bit here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe a little bit there. As you can see, I don't I don't do this a lot, so yeah. Okay. And there you go. That's me concealing my face, highlighting, whatever you want to call it. Um I don't know. I don't think it recorded anything. Y'all, my camera cut off. I don't know where we stopped it. This is the concert kit I'm about to use, though. Y'all probably said this girl just don't win. And it comes with this little thing here. Let me see. This tell me if I contour it right. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, oh, just a little bit. It comes with a little brush here, and these are the colors. This is really a light palette. What happened was. I didn't really order this palette. That's why I can't really tell you the price right now. It was sent to me. I'm not sure if it was on accident or whatever the situation may have been. But I said I would try to use it. I don't really, like I said, I don't really contour my face a lot. I just highlight it here. I don't know where my camera cut off at, but I highlight it with this brush underneath here. 
underneath my eyes, forehead and nose with the Master Conceal by Maybelline. And I um, contoured with this foundation stick by Black Opal. And it's in Beautiful Bronze. This is drugstore as well. You can get this like at Walmart. You're about to blend this out. So, start it underneath the eye. Same beauty blender from... contoured and highlighted basically I'm over here thinking like why my camera keep cutting off like it's a memory card almost full like what I don't even do that much on my camera but I only got a 32 GB one so I mean I can't really be mad but I don't know if you saw me contour or I don't know what you saw, but I contour with this black opal foundation stick right here in the color color beautiful bronze. And I highlighted with this master conceal. I set my highlight with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And I used my real technique sponge to ink the back of it here to go underneath my eyes. Now this finishes up before the camera cut back off. That's, that's just ridiculous. Okay. So. I'm going to use this brush here. I'm going to use this brush. And I'm going to use the, I think the darkest color in this palette. So, right here in the middle. Where am I? Right here. And I'm going to use some of this black opal and I'm going to contour my nose just a little bit. As you can see. Um, I would normally dust this away with powder, but all right, this is just this. This is my powder, so I'm just gonna blend it on into the skin, but they're so thin. Cause I really feel like my highlight wasn't what I wanted to be, so this Sasha just really kind of hit contain it a little bit okay I'm still recording <laughs> yeah I'm so shook up making sure no ring is coming out so
But on to the fun part. The glow kit. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit. Colors here. As you can see, I swatched all of them before. And we're going to mix two. I'm going to start out with, I think, golden bronze. I'm going to start out with golden bronze right here. And then I'm going to top that off with dripping in gold at the bottom down here. So, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I don't think it's picking up good because this brush got some foundation on it, but oh well. be too too shiny for y'all <laughs> but we want that highlight to show up we do take that air brush here and I'm gonna get a little bit of the sunburst color the highlight on your paper up on. Oh, that's a little too, a little bit too much glow right there. I'm going to either use these wispies, can you see them, use these wispies here, or I have, these are just regular, I need to find a good lash place, or one of these, this is Flirty, and this is Posh by Kiss Lashes, but I think I'm just going to do these Ardell wispies today, and this is 601 black, 601 in black. Lashes is just this tweezer here, these lashes, and this strip lash adhesive with aloe. It's by Kiss. I'm just about to touch my brows up a little bit with this clear mascara here. It's um, by Rima London. I've had it for ever. So, and I just use that to kind of make sure all my brows and my brows in place. Just gonna, I just do the little front part of my brows. Okay. And I have my lashes on. Can you see? I've already did my look for the video. I lined it with this color here. It's LAX by ColourPop. And then I used this LA Girl, what does it say? Matte Flat Velvet Lipstick on it. And I think I want a little gloss, so I'm going to use this Lip Shine by Nika K. It's in the color Flirt. I'm going to put that on top of it. I just made it made a little more ombre look. And... Next time you see me out here, I'm going to have my hair all taken down and you'll see the full look in just a moment.